Hello and welcome to the first episode of my video guide to record stores in Tokyo. Today we are looking at a relatively new Disc Union location in the Shinjuku area of Tokyo. Disc Union is a very large record store chain in Japan. They got tons of stores in Tokyo. This location alone has four stores. As you can see, we have the Best Album Store, interesting name, the Used Store, the Classical Music Store, and the Shuno Store. Going over here, I just really love the layout of a good disc union with the albums on the walls, a nice black and red motif. It's just, it just looks cool, and even if I'm not buying anything, I could spend all day in a good disc union. Over here, we have the classical section, as you can tell from the classical albums. I'm not a big classical guy, but I wanted to show this really quick, but I don't know much about classical music, so instead we're going to head over to the Best Album Store. This is a unique store that only sells best ofs and other compilations and box sets. Very interesting idea. Never seen it before, but as you can tell, only box sets, only best ofs for all kinds of artists. Both you got plenty of Western artists and a good deal of Japanese artists, as you can see. It's just just best ofs. That's why it's the best album store. See, you got Dennis Zoplin box sets, Dennis Zoplin best of. Got some Japan best of. That's a pretty good one. That's a Japan only Japan best of. Not a bad set. Some interesting remixes. But if I'm looking in the corner, I see some Hawkwind. Let me go look at Hawkwind. 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 I love Hawkwind. Oh, okay. So this one has some rarer remixes I don't own. That's a problem. I didn't buy this today, but I'm an idiot. I'll probably buy it later, but I put it back for now. But yeah, see? Fleetwood Mac. Best of. You got your. Your Faces, Best Of, Fairport Convention, Best Of, Flaming Lips, Best Of, Elton John, a lot of Elton John Best Of, he's been around for a while, I don't need an Elton John Best Of, I have Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. I did almost buy this Daryl Hall and John Oates box set just out of the audacity, but I already own four Hall and Oates greatest hits, don't ask. Yeah, a lot of Bowie here. Mostly Legacy, Best of Bowie, and the Nothing Has Changed compilations in various forms. A lot of those have various versions. This one's kind of cool, the Platinum Collection. That was a good set from the 90s. Didn't pick that up, though. This store also has new releases. The new Aztec Camera Box set had a new release from The Kinks, something from Alcatraz, that new Aretha Franklin set, and some Japanese-only ones for some Japanese artists. They also have some interesting Japanese releases for Western artists, these are the Japanese single collections by Warner. A lot of these have unique edits you can't find on other CDs. I have a few of those. There are some records here, but it was mostly CDs. Still, if you're looking for some old Greatest Hits albums, this could be a good place to go. A lot of old Greatest Hits aren't on CDs because they get replaced with newer collections. So, you know, good place for that. But I really didn't spend too much time here. I was mostly in the... General Used Store, which was huge and had a lot of great stuff. Anime! What do we got here? Japanese soundtracks, drama, and anime. A lot of anime, as the name suggests, but also a lot of kaiju, Ultraman, Mighty Jack, things like that. Fun stuff to collect that you really can't find in other places. So, you know, I always recommend if you want if you want something weird, buy one of these when you're on vacation. They're, they're unique and they're fun. A lot of people collect anime soundtracks. I do a little bit, but I'm to be honest, I'm not that big an anime fan, so I really can't tell you a ton of the stuff here. There is some good stuff you can find here. Digital Trip is a synthesizer version of another anime soundtrack. Those are all really good. A lot of good stuff here. A lot of unfortunate stuff here, too, sometimes. Japan being Japan. I don't know much about jazz, but they had a lot of it. And it was, again, very well organized by major artists and subgenres like fusion, v female, male vocals, Japanese jazz. But not my thing. But hey, Star Wars, that's my thing. Hmm. Don't know this one. Looks a little off-brand. Sometimes I pick these up because they're fun, but I have enough Star Wars vinyl. I have to do a whole episode on that. I'll put that one back. But hey, Bamboo Beatles, what's that? Traditional bamboo flute interpretations of Beatles classics like Let It Be, Eleanor Rigby, Norwegian Word. Yep, grab that. And that took me to the soundtrack section, one of the most dangerous sections in any store for me because I love collecting soundtracks. I have a ton of soundtracks and other stuff like this, you know, weird test records, sound effects records. 
kind of stuff you can find in these sections. I wanted to go through and just kind of show what's in this because I felt that this store was pretty indicative of the type of soundtracks you might find in a Japanese record store. Occasionally you find the weird thing that Sesame Street album's weird, but for the most part, it's the same stuff you'll find in America. You'll see Footloose and Sound of Music a lot here, Fame. Occasionally weird things like, again, the Miko, but you can, I bought Miko in America for like a dollar, so don't come to Japan and spend $5 for it. But if you're looking for soundtracks, you could do a lot worse. It is, it is fun to look through these. And of course, these have those Obi strips a lot of the time that you don't get in the American releases. So there's a little bit of a unique factor there. Had to do an edit here because there were a few copies of Emmanuel. And this is an all ages video. Savage looks like a good soundtrack. Didn't pick that up. What else we got here? Blind Date, something called They're Playing Our Song. Never heard of that. Again, those are odd, but for the most part, it's the typical stuff you see in every soundtrack section. Again, Fame, Nine and a Half Weeks, Paint Your Wagon, yeah, FM. But this was weird. Seminar 31, a question and answer session by a psychiatrist. It was 480 yen. That's a little under five bucks. I bought that. Again, now, let's go through. Here's the soul section. Looks pretty good. A lot of Indian alternative major artists here these can get pretty pricey because 90s vinyl is rare so i didn't look through this too much because i didn't want to spend a hundred dollars on a spanish Pumpkins album a lot of hip-hop salsa tango all kinds of different genres here nice selection get into the prog section one of my more dangerous areas also so i didn't dig in through too much through that but Good stuff there, and then some punk too. I always love how the prog is next to the punk in a Japanese record store. You got two sides of the same coin. Let's move on to the CDs. The CD selection here was off the charts. All kinds of great stuff. Japanese record stores still love CDs, so if you're a CD collector like me, this can be more expensive for you than the record selection. I picked up a magazine album here. Been listening to them quite a bit in the movie Erg. Thought I'd finally buy one of their records. Then went on over to some other sections. There's reggae. <laughs> I don't think that guy's reggae, but hey, you never know. A lot of stuff here. Again, this is a genre that I'm not familiar with, but I do want to show it off to just really show how much they have of it. They also have quite a bit of soul and blues. I'm into that sometimes. I haven't been for a while, but I still go through and check it because I might see something I like, like Zap. Yeah, Zap. Let me see what Zap they got typical stuff some weird stuff i didn't know what a lot of this was to be honest aside from the main ones so i want to go home and do some research before i pick it up but i love me some zap and japan seems to love zap too i can always find zap you know what else japan loves doom stoner sludge i love that sign a lot of uh metal sub genres here also some loud rock you know all rock is loud rock if you turn up the volume enough then some punk Punk is spread out pretty good. You got ska core, NYC hardcore, Japanese again, and they are really good at doing the sub genres. A lot of good hip hop, although maybe not Amy Winehouse, but hey, what do I know? Got D'Angelo, Rai, Sade. I hope that's not all Neo. Oh my God. And then from the hip hop, you get the uh, Japanese hip hop. Do yourself a favor. Don't listen to Japanese hip hop. It's, it's usually pretty bad, but Japanese techno. That's some good shit. 80s Kids, Dinky Groove, not here, but I want to shout out some good names. One they did have here that I love quite a bit, one of my favorite bands of all time, Boom Boom Satellites. This album, Exposed. Great record. They had it for 480 in with the DVD. Moving on to Progressive Rock. I love how they cut up the genre here into different countries. You got your Italian, German, American. There's a European one. It makes it a lot easier to find artists. Over here, we have a lot of yes, but then what are all these? Huh, i never seen those before. Weird labels. What's that? Yes, private. Oh, these are bootlegs. So Japan is a little more gung-ho with promoting and selling bootlegs. They don't care as much. Copyright law here must be a bit different. These are all Pink Floyd bootlegs. Like, again, I don't buy these. Buy them on, get them online for free, but they have them here. Save your money for King Crimson, because there's a lot of King Crimson. This is all King Crimson. All of Fissile. These are not bootlegs. This is just a lot of King Crimson. Still more King Crimson. Yo, Robert Fripp, 
needs to calm down with the reissues. That's too much King Crimson. I don't understand. But hey, y'all do y'all. Finally, there's the storage store. This is nice. I didn't go in here because I have pretty good setup right now. And obviously, this is not something you're going to want to go into if you're a tourist. But if you do live in the country and you're looking for some good shelves or displays and things like that, you could do a lot worse than this. A lot of good stuff in there, it looks like. So yeah, maybe check that out sometime. And they have some good high-end audio there, too. So how do you get here? It's easy. Just go to the Sinjuku San Chome Station and take exit B6, the TNT 3 building. You'll go down this brand new hallway. Very clean. Japan's like that. Walk down there. Go through those glass doors. And you'll take the elevator to the third floor. And it'll take you straight there. But that's going to do it for this first episode of the Japanese Record Store Guide. Hope to do some more in the future. Be sure to click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you want more updates about things going on in Japan with record stores, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Lost Turntable. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care.